about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's me isabel here with your june romance landia monthly update this is the quickest update we will have probably ever maybe not i don't if july continues to be slow i may have to like who knows i shouldn't say that i'm gonna like curse myself to have like nothing in july it was a quiet month in romance landia i like to think that we were all off fighting other fights um not to say there aren't things we need to fix in romance landia but i like to think that we were really off like doing some good shit like doing the work and like getting shit done or on hiatus and writing books i don't know which something was going on so instead of romance landia blowing up last month i feel like science fiction and fantasy writers were getting blown up last month in a very like not good way um a lot went down but it didn't involve romance landia beyond like some people who like to tweet crappy takes on romance turned out to be shitty so um on that note let's get to this very very quick update First up, we have our RWA news. The biggest thing that came out this month is that RWA is helping authors pursue Dream Spinner Press for the non-payments happening. Um, if you aren't aware, Dream Spinner Press has not been paying their authors, so be sure you're checking when you buy a book who published it and like maybe go check out their Twitter feed to be sure like, you know, they're getting paid. So that's really exciting news and I think it's a great thing. I'm happy to see this finally happening. I know that a lot of authors have been asking the RWA to do this and the previous leadership was not open to the idea of pursuing Dream Spinner. Next, the Rip Bodice Summer Book Bingo dropped. I think you have through August 31st to do this, so if you want to participate, here's the board. It's very cute. I enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to participate this year or not. I don't know. I have to make some decisions. <laughs> um, and then something fun also, Miss Bev, aka Beverly Jenkins was gathering up lists of various black authors and one list that really popped out in my mind was the paranormal list for paranormal romance uh, i don't have a good list of black paranormal romance authors so i'm very excited to dive into all of the authors mentioned in the tweet thread i will link it down below so you can check it out uh and then last but not least of course is in the bookish fun stuff is Katrina Jackson wrote a whole article on black queer love for LGBTQ reads. I will link it down below. Highly recommend you read it. She also compiled a list of black queer love stories in which one character had to be black and then the other one could be interracial. So I think this is also a great resource to check out if you're like me and you love reading queer stories. All right, and then events. I just want to reiterate that you need to be looking at your favorite author's social media because I feel like every author has been on a freaking event online in the last like two months, three months. Three months? How long has this been going on? I don't know. However long we've been stuck inside. Um, and on that, Alyssa Cole's date nights continue at Loyalty Bookstore and they have been a blast so far. So someone asked if these were available online after the fact and I recently found out that you actually can sign up and then go back and click the link and watch the whole live back. So. That's really exciting and I'm very happy to find that out because I can't always make it like on time. So sometimes I want to see the beginning. That's it. So that is our June Romance Landia Monthly. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around till the end here, just FYI, I will be live with beautifully bookish Bethany and some other amazing content creators like bookish Ashley at Bookish Realms, um, Isabella, I don't know her channel name, and um, Autumn, a Native American book reviewer we are going to be talking about twilight and new moon critically and discussing like just the things that stick out to us now as like 10 plus years removed possibly from reading it for some of us that's at 8 30 eastern daylight time fyi so i hope you come join us i'll be in the chat i'll be on screen it'll be a fun time um yeah that's it so thanks for hanging out with me real quick today i will see you again in my next video be sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it bye really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know